Anyway, we've looked so far at babies uh, lapping and toddlers lapping. Let me introduce a, a slightly new concept. And um, I noticed this when, when my niece was about seven or eight. And my niece was about seven or eight, and she loved grapes. And she was eating some grapes, like and she finished the grapes, and then she turned the thing upside down and said, Look, a tree. <laughs> what she had done was one of the key aspects of comedy, and that is she had seen one thing in terms of another. She'd seen that what was a load of a, a stalk actually looked like a tree. And what you have here <coughs> is, um, in the academic terminology, a concurrence of meaning with a within a biformity. Basically what you have is an incongruity, where two things <coughs> come together but exist at the, the same time. Um, if anybody wants some comic advice, I would say that what they have to do in life is look at everything. People, images, language, voices, songs, and hear uh, and I'll see a different meaning within whatever they're seeing. See something and find a different meaning within it. Um, Peter Kay does a wonderful routine where he takes songs that he has listened to and he heard different lyrics to the original lyrics. And he plays what he's... He tells you what he heard and then he plays what he heard. And when you're listening to that, you can suddenly hear what Peter Kay heard, even though the lyrics are completely different. And sometimes they, they're absurd. I'm sure it'll be on YouTube, so go have a look. Um, so as I say, th this idea is really about du uh, duality, biformity and incongruity. And you transpose... Uh, one idea and, and put it in, a, in another. Comedians often begin, for example, uh, a, a routine by saying, uh, establishing one idea, and they'll say, and it's like this. It, that idea is like this. And they'll develop the comparison be between the two things. <coughs> Next time you're watching a comedian on television, notice how often they do that. And it's like this. That idea is like this, and they'll play with the connections between the, the two things. Um, Eddie Izzard uh, used to do a fantastic routine when he first started, uh, which takes this to absurd uh, extremes. Um, and in a uh, completely surreal I, uh, direction. He took cats purring behind the couch. He said, you know what cats are doing when they're purring behind the couch? That simple idea. They're drilling for oil. <laughs> and then he got 20 minutes material out of turning purring cats behind the sofa into this wonderful, surreal thing of the cats drilling for... And of course, he got gags within the drilling and, and, and all the rest of it. Um, so, it, it, well, that's a bit of comic genius. But you can do that um, to agree uh, to yourself, with yourself. Uh, so as I say, the, the, uh, what's important is the ability to make connections between things that are disparate and, uh, and, <laughs> and, and, and incongruous. Uh, 